So ZBrush also has 3D connection Space Mouse device support, and I'm actually using the Space Mouse Enterprise Kit 2. Uh, but it'll work with uh, any any space mouse. If I go through here and I use that to navigate, you know, this is traditional navigation going through here and you're just alt tapping and you can rotate and you can zoom. Uh, but with the space mouse, what you can do is, uh, and I mean, I know a lot of CAD us users have been using this for a while, uh, but now you have ZBrush support. So you can go through here and you can investigate your models and you can move, scale, and rotate. And the really cool thing about this, I think, is it's, basically universal navigation. So anything that supports this space mouse uh, is going to have the exact same navigation. You basically just use that little rubber cylinder uh, tumbler. You can you know, push up and down and left and right and tilt and pan and uh, rotate and all that good stuff. Uh, and it, it works really, really well in ZBrush. You can go through here and use this as your navigational tool now. In fact, it also works in Keyshot. It looks like uh, it's a little bit... Uh, more sensitive in Keyshot. I might have to change the settings a little bit for that. Um, but yeah, you can use this in Keyshot as well. It's got the space mouse navigation. So again, the other cool thing is if you're used to programs where it's like, oh, I do I hold down Alt or do I let go or do I have control or do I use a middle mouse? None of that really applies. It's all the same navigation. You grab the cylinder, you treat it as if that's the object in your hand, and then very quickly you can go through here and you can navigate. And like I said before, you know, CAD users have been using this for a while. So here's the Space Mouse uh, in Fusion 360. And again, super easy to go through and just manipulate and view your objects. Uh, again, with the same exact navigation as you have in ZBrush now with the Space Mouse. So get in there, uh, check out any programs you might have that might come in handy when you're working on uh, certain files and navigation and uh, using Again, that universal 3D connection navigator uh, to check out your meshes and use that one navigation solution.